Welcome to Art with Albright. This is Emily Albright, and today I have a special guest, Abby Albright, joining me today to draw this adorable little mouse. This is Pinkie Pie, according to Abigail. She named it, right? Yes, she thinks it's so cute. Anyway, you are um, watching this live on YouTube, and I would love for you to subscribe to our channel so we know you want us to record more videos and teach you how to draw. So today, grab your pencil, grab some paper, and let's get drawing. I'm so excited to draw this little mouse. Okay, so you want to start out drawing real lightly. You just want to draw real lightly to build the character. Let me get let me zoom in so you guys can see this better. Okay, so I just did a letter N. It looks really weird. Okay, that's all right. We're not in a hurry. Um, and then I'm going to close it by by pulling it in on both sides. Okay, making that contour line. We're going to just start darkening in the shape of the nose. It is just a little pebble of a nose. Okay, so let's draw our little um, light reflective circle right there. So for the nose we're going to color that one in real dark. Real dark. So you can just scribble that in. Okay, scribbling is not a technical word but it's great. But we've we've blended in the nose and it looks just amazing. Okay, so now let's give, them, give, give this little girl some eyes. So on top of the nose, I'm just going to do the letter N again. Okay, if you know how to draw the letter N, you're, you're pretty much going to make today easy. Okay, let's give the reflective dots um, right in there. I made them ovals. I put them on the same side of the eye because you want the eyes to look like they're going in the same direction. Okay, your eyes don't, you don't have independent eyes like lizards. This is a mouse. Okay, wonderful. So on top of the head, I'm going to lightly put a bow. Okay, remember we're just building the character right now. So I'm going to just lightly draw the shape to build the, the bow. And then we're going to go back and we're going to add the detail. Okay, I love to add detail. Um, that's my favorite part when I draw is to add the detail. Now I'm going to erase that little area right there. You having a hard time seeing Abigail? Okay. Um, adding that little detail, um, erasing the underlines. You only want to keep the lines you're going to see. Now for the ears, I love big mice ears, mouse ears, mice ears, whatever. Okay, you find what, what makes you happy. Okay, I don't really like the shape of this one. It's too pointed. So I'm going to take off some of that ear, and I'm going to round it off. Okay, that's why we're drawing real lightly. We're just giving it a light um, shape to build, a whisper, yeah, to um, build that shape. Oh, I love having Abigail here today. It's so nice to draw with somebody. I'm usually all alone. Okay, so when I look at this, I'm trying to make sure both of my ears um, kind of look the same. And if not, you just keep messing with it, um, keep building it, keep changing it until you're happy. You're the artist. If you're not happy, then nobody's going to be happy, right? So what do you think so far? Very nice, very nice. I love it. Okay, let's move on. How are you doing, Abby? Oh, I love your little mouse. So cute. She's already adding extras. Okay, so for the little dress, I'm going to take off both sides under the under the head because her face is down a little, so we're not really able to see her neck or her mouth. Okay, so we're going to put a little dress on this one. I'm going to pull it out on both sides. It's not too long. And then I'm going to make some... It, it's kind of ruffled and it's waving see that there? We're going to make it wave a little. And then underneath, see where her head is? I'm going to bring down her body. So there we have a body. And then behind we're going to have some arms. She's, she's hiding a Christmas present or a birthday present behind her back. She's like, ooh, I've got a gift for you. And then we're just going to put some feet. So watch this. I'm just going to use the letter N again. Look at that. How easy is that? Just 
just put those letter N's in there. We should call this the mouse made out of the letter N. Okay, so we have that. And the dress is kind of flared up, so we want to pull that behind her. So we're going to add it right there. Oh, she is looking so adorable. We need a tail. She's got a really long tail. And then we're going to put a bow on it. So I'm going to color that in little triangles on both sides, you know, because that's the easiest bow. Put some crink crinkles, some, oh goodness, some creases, that's what they're called, right there. And then I want to put a horizon behind her. That way we know where she's standing in the room. So what do you think so far? Is that just adorable? I think even the guys are going to like drawing this, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and start doing the fun stuff of detail. Okay, so her hair is going to be all over the front of, of her um, bow, you know, because she's, she's a girl. We just can't control that hair all the time, right? So we've got hair, we've got some squiggly lines here, giving it to her, um, giving her some movement, okay, showing off that texture. We're going to get some whiskers in here. I'm just going to do two on each side. Oh, she's so cute. I think my nose is a little too pointed, though. She's looking pretty um, weird with a pointed nose there. I think it's softer that way. What do you think? Okay, so for the bow, I'm just going to go back and I'm going to darken in the lines, add some crease lines. How are you doing, Abby? Good. I'm pretty sure some of you know my daughter, Abby. She's so awesome. Okay, so then I'm going to shade in the areas that don't really receive a lot of light. So inside the bow, to give it an illusion of depth, I'm going to put some shading in there. And shading behind the hair. And then the creases. And look at these ears. Let's darken in the ears. Go around and darken in those ears. And let's give a little a little arch into the the ear inside of it. So let's darken in all these beautiful lines that we've we've um, sketched on here just to block in the shapes, block in our character, and then start darkening in where the the light is not as strong. Now on the dress you can always put like little um, little stars on her dress or a little ribbon on her dress or dots even. I like the idea of dots. Those are so cute. But for time, I'm just going to leave her um, just the way she is. Okay, so underneath her, she's casting a shadow because I like the light to come from this side of my art. I'm going to cast a shadow um, going the opposite direction of the light because when you're standing um, and the light's on, on the left side, you want your shadow on the right. If it's on the right, you want it on the left. Okay, so we want to cast a little shadow there. So next, you want to take your stomp. If you don't have a stomp, just use your finger and start blending. Blending in those, those shading lines, casting those shadows, giving it some texture, building up your character. She's going to love this. And I like to kind of use a circular motion on my little animals to give them some hair, give them some texture. I'm going to darken it under her face a little just to let it look like it's not flat on the paper. But she's actually um, casting a shadow from her, from her head onto her clothing. And then down the left side will go. Oh, she is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Now, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, Art with Albright, so that I know that there are people out there actually enjoying these videos that I'm making. So, what do you think? Do you love the little mouse, Pinkie Pie? I would love to hear from you. Uh, you can hashtag Art with Albright and post your pictures, and I would love to see them. Abigail has her Pinkie Pie finished. Look at this. <gasps> Pinkie Pie, and who's the other one? mini pie. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Now I would love to see your art. If you would uh, take a picture of it and hashtag art with Albright and put that on Instagram, I would love to see and comment on your 
Um, Yuck. Thank you all for uh, participating uh, with Abby and I in Art with Albright. See you next time.